On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a porcupine in a pine tree. Okay, I promised that we would do 12 days of drawing, and today is the first day. From Porcupine in a Pine Tree, how to draw the porcupine, which we call Quilliam. I've been fooling around here, warming up, and before we get started, we really should warm up together. First thing everybody should do is do nice circles. People may think this is not important, but it is to get the hand going. We can take our circle for a walk. We can make it smaller. We can make it bigger, smaller, bigger. Very important because everything we're going to be doing is based on a circle, a square, and a triangle. And the thing that we got to remember is K I S S. Keep it simple, silly. So, first thing, oh, one last thing I should show you is before we get going, how to squish a circle. Because we're going to be squishing circles. Now, if I said this and this is the same thing, you would say, no, that's a circle, that's a line. But if I take that circle and I start to squish it and squish it and squish it and squish it and squish it, I end up with a straight line. Let me show you again. I start off with a circle. I squish it on both sides, squish it, squish it, squish it, and I end up with a line. It's like spinning a circle. In fact, I could take a line and I could start unsquishing it until I end up with a circle. So that's going to be really helpful as we get drawing. So the first thing we're going to do is draw, well, we'll start off with a little light line. Hope you can see that. And that's just a light line to show us how tall we're going to make him. And then we're going to put a, a circle for the body. And we'll do another circle for the head. Now these are the, the underlines. Then we'll connect these two. Don't worry about all these extra lines inside. I should put his ears on here, the ears on there. And then we'll just put a line across here so that we get the eyes in the right spot. We'll put a nose in that middle line. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to put his ribbon, oh, his feet. So we're going to put his feet here like this, put a little bit of bend on them. Makes it look like he's got more weight on himself. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the ribbon on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a line across here. And if he was, if we were looking up at him, the line goes up like that. And if we were looking down, it goes the other way. We'll get into that another day. So we're going to put the middle part of the ribbon. And we're going to put the sides. And what we should do is make sure that we've got room for his arms. So here's his little hands coming down. Notice all the messy lines? They'll, get, they'll disappear. So we've got that, and then we got to put his little quills on. We don't have to connect them right to him. You could connect them if you want. But I always let the mind put a little bit in there. So if we've got the quills around, we can put a little smile on him. Make the eyes just a little bit bigger. And now our, our ribbon. We'll darken them up once we know where they're going to be. Put those extra lines in there, we're going to color with red later if we get to it. Or you can color. Now, to put him in the tree, what we can do is this. That's just Oh, we should draw him from the side. So again, we're going to just do a little line, curve a little bit because he's going to be standing. We'll put a little line at the top for the top of him. And again, we'll put his body. And we'll put, oops, put a circle for his head. And now his feet, put that little curve in there, makes him, again, we bend the knees a little bit, it makes him look like he's little got a little bit of weight on him. Let's put a nose on him. Put a line here, there's his eye. Put his ear on. And then his arms coming down. Nice and light. And now what we'll do is we'll put the ribbon on top of him. And 
and again we'll put the quills on. Now somebody said he looks a lot like a hedgehog and I probably I probably made him look a little bit like that but I wanted to make him look cute and he didn't have to look totally real because he is a character. But if you go on the web you can find all sorts of drawings of porcupines. And the neat thing about porcupines, I didn't know that they're on every continent in the world. So it's not just Canada that has porcupines. So there's Quilliam from the side. Now if we were going to draw him in the tree, let's move the paper. Oops, can't get that paper off. There we go. What we're going to do is this. We're going to take his pot. Now, in the book I made him look as if he's standing straight on the floor. But if we, if you look on the cover, he sort of looks down on him. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that circle at the top a little like this. Unsquish the line, unsquish the line the same way. And that makes it look like we're looking into the, the pot. And then we'll put a line up here for the tree. Looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, I know. I didn't mean it to be. And then we're going to put our branches. Just these lines coming off like this. We'll fill that in. And now he sits on top. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little circle for his very light. I'm using a very soft pencil so I can make very light lines but very dark lines. And then he's sitting there. We'll connect these two. And once again, we can put a line down the front. If we wanted to have him looking sideways, we can just bend that line there like that. So what we'll do is we'll bend it a bit. So we'll put his nose right there. Put his eyes, his ear, poke the other one just a little bit around. And now his feet, because he's sitting, his feet are up, so we're going to use like triangles. And we'll just put, these are beavers, I mean, beavers have webbed feet, not porcupine, but and they're really good climbers and they must have very good feet. All right, and now our ribbon. So what we'll do is we'll make the ribbon like as if we're looking up at it. So he's above us. And we're going to have to have the hand down here. So we'll put the little hands, little fingers, the other hand. And now again for the ribbon, we'll take this part and we'll wrap it. Put a little bit of curve into it. And then we'll put the big triangles, parts of triangles on here. And curve it up there so it looks like we're looking up at it. The nice thing about drawing is you can erase some of these lines when you don't need them. There we go. And then what we're going to do is put his quills on him. See, I'm thinking of an imaginary space like that, very light, but what I'm going to do is. Oops, it's got to go down here. A smile on him too. There we go. In fact, what we could do is we could hide this hand and we could put another hand right here and we could have him waving his arm coming out there. Oh, we could have the ribbon coming out from behind here. And now what we'll do is we'll do the tree and we're just going to come out if you look at the cover of the book, you can. No two trees are alike, so it doesn't matter if you change it. I always thought that it'd be funny to have a tree like this at Christmas. In fact, we once had a Christmas tree where we had to drill a hole and put an extra branch in. My son, who's filming this right now, probably remembers that. And so we can finish this off. I'll let you finish this and I will post this one online with some of the other sketches and then tomorrow we'll get a little bit fancier and we will do the caribou. So I want to wish you happy drawing for today. I know it's the first day of Christmas and maybe you did get a porcupine in a pine tree but in the meantime I hope you have a wonderful time drawing and we'll see you tomorrow.